Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study parallelogram law of forces. Here we will understand definition with the help of diagram. Then we will understand how to calculate resultant and angle alpha of the resultant. So students, let's begin. So students, see here, suppose this is a particle which is represented by letter O and on this particle forces applied, two forces applied which are P force and Q force as you can see and angle between these two forces that is P and Q let's assume here as theta okay now we will draw these imaginary lines as you can see dotted lines because of these two lines it forms as a parallelogram okay so now here this parallelogram has two sides equal opposite sides equal so this p is equal to this side this side is equal to this side so here this is q okay in the figure see the diagonal of the parallelogram shows the resultant r of the forces p and q and this resultant makes angle alpha with force p as you can see here in this diagram let's first give the name name to this whole this is a point this is a particle which we have given the name o and on this particle force p is applied and so here we will give we will give it name as a okay at this side of the parallelogram and here second force q is applied on this particle o and here we will give it name as b okay wait here this is a this is b and we joined we make the parallelogram from with the help of these two forces so here we closing point here it is and we will give it name as c okay now first we will read the definition of parallel law of parallelogram law of forces so here see parallelogram law of forces states that if two forces that is in this case force p and force q acting simultaneously okay on a particle this is our particle okay be represented in magnitude and direction here it is a direction direction by the two sides of a parallelogram as you can see here this is side one this is side two then the their resultant may be represented in magnitude and direction by the diagonal of the parallelogram as you can see here this is a diagonal and here it is a resultant okay which passes through their point of intersection as you can see here this is one point this is another point from this to the uh, join this result joins this point and so it is called as resultant here so here we will again read the definition here parallelogram law of forces states that that if two forces acting simultaneously on a particle be represented in magnitude and direction by the two sides of a parallelogram then their resultant may be represented in magnitude and direction by the diagonal of the parallelogram which passes through their point of intersection okay now we will see how to calculate the resultant force and here the angle between r and p that is alpha so here for this we will extend this line okay and here we will extend this line okay this is at 90 degree and we will give it a name as d as here this is a parallelogram the this angle and this angle will be same so here this is our angle theta okay in this case okay now see here first to calculate the resultant we will consider first this triangle that is triangle OCD so here C triangle OCD is equal to here C in this o triangle OCD we will apply the Pythagoras theorem so here for this C OC square is equal to 
OD square plus CD square okay OC square is equal to OD square plus CD square now we will simplify this term so here C OC is equal to under root of OD is our OD is our OA plus AD so here bracket OA plus AD AD square plus here CD square CD square okay we will need the value of AD and CD so we will now consider here suppose this is our equation 1 okay now we will consider triangle ACD okay triangle ACD okay now in this triangle we will again see here this is angle theta so here we will consider now sin theta sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to opposite side upon hypotenuse so here in this case this becomes CD upon AC from this here we will get here this AC will go here so CD is equal to AC sin theta okay so here again see this CD CD becomes here CD is equal to AC is our Q okay so here CD becomes Q sin theta okay now second again now here we will see now cos theta is equal to cos theta is equal to adjacent side upon hypotenuse so here ad upon ac this gives us this ac will go in this side so here ad is equal to ac cos theta and this gives us here q cos theta okay q cos theta ac is our q okay now we will put all the values available values in our equation number one that is this one so this equation equation number one we will put all the values so oc we have here oc is equal to r that is resultant so here r is equal to now under root we will put as is here now here OA we have here OA is our P so bracket P plus AD AD is, your, is our Q cos theta so Q cos theta bracket close square plus CD we have here Q sin theta Q sin theta square now we will simplify this equation so R is equal to under root of here P this is a plus B square formula we need to apply here so here you apply this formula so here P square plus Q square cos square theta plus P Q cos theta okay plus here again now this term Q square plus sin square theta sin square theta okay now see again we will further simplify it r is equal to under root of here we have p square plus q square okay see here now this is common this term we will sorry here see this is q square sin square theta okay this is q square sin square theta so here we have now P square plus here Q square cos square theta okay plus here we have Q square sin square theta plus P Q cos theta sorry here see A square plus B square plus 2 A B okay so here 2 here 2 okay now R is equal to under root of here C we will simplify this P square plus Q square is common so here sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 P 
क्यू कॉज थीटा ओके टू पी क्यू कॉज थीटा नाउ सी आर इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ हियर अगेन पी स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू स्क्वेर साइंस स्क्वेर थीटा प्लस कॉज स्क्वेर थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन सो हियर दिस बिकम्स वन सो हियर वी लेफ्ट विद ओनली क्यू स्क्वेर सो पी स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस टू पी क्यू कॉज थीटा दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन फॉर रिजल्टंट फोर्स ओके हियर आर दैट इज रिजल्टंट इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ पी स्क्वेर प्लस क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस टू पी क्यू कॉज थीटा ओके नाउ फर्दर वी विल फाइंड आउट दिस एंगल अल्फा दैट इज द एंगल विच रिजल्टंट मेक्स विथ फोर्स पी ओके सो दी हियर सी वील कंसिडर हियर टेन अल्फा सो टेन अल्फा इज इक्वल टू सी वी विल कंसिडर दिस ट्राइंगल ओके ओ सी डी सो टेन अल्फा इज इक्वल टू अपोजिट साइड अपॉन एडजन साइड सो हियर सी डी अपॉन ओ डी ओके ओ डी इज एक्चुअली हियर ओ ए प्लस ए डी राइट नाउ वी विल पुट द वैल्यूज सी डी वी हैव हियर विच इज क्यू साइन थीटा सो क्यू साइन theta upon here we have oa plus ad oa is our p so p plus ad is our this q sin q cos theta okay q cos theta so tan alpha is equal to q sin theta upon p plus q cos theta so from this here alpha is equal to tan inverse q sin theta upon P plus Q cos theta. Okay, this is our equation for to find out the angle between the resultant and the force P. That is angle alpha. Okay. So students, in this video, we have understood about parallelogram law of forces. Thank you, students, for watching this video. Like, share, and comment for this video, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.